Okay, today's episode on Tequila Forever, Forever Tequila. I'm going to be doing a review on Tapatio 110. Now that is the high proof Blanco. So the master distiller on this bad boy is Carlos Camarena. So being 110 proof, that's 55% alcohol by volume. Damn, that's this is the maximum shit. alcohol content allowed by the standards of tequila or for tequila. And also, you know, I wanted to say that you know, this is one of the first tequilas that, you know, that hit the market for a high proof Blanco and it set the standards. You know, it's not the first, but it's like I said, it's one of the first. So, and this brand has been around for a very, very long time. But you know what, without further ado, let's go ahead and get down to doing this review. Whoa, let me take a sip of that shit. And you guys can check out that bottle right there. It's a really nice, that's a really nice bottle. You got a screw cap, so you don't really got to worry about like evaporation or anything like that. So let's get this swirled up a little bit and then let's check it out here in the glass. So in case you can't see that, I'm telling you that it coats the glass very, very well. Also, I wanted to mention that I did a um, you know, blind tasting in the video that you guys will see. I think I said blind testing, which is fine by me. I guess, you know, I'm testing out the tequilas, right? It's all right. So I did it with um, this one, you know, the Tequila Ocho Puntas and the Grand Ovejo High Proof Blanco. So be on the lookout for that video in the near future. And for now, we're doing it on this one. Okay. So many people talk about this tequila being perfect for cocktails right like a mixed spirit which i have done and it is good it's excellent but honestly i can enjoy this tequila you know without having to mix it i think it's a very well made blanco and i think when it comes to sipping you know this is a great sipper right here I lagged a little bit on purchasing this one because I have tried the regular Blanco. I have tried all the products. As for the regular Blanco, I have nothing negative to say about it, but it just wasn't for me sipping wise. And it's a good tequila, you know, to mix, perhaps take shots. It's at a very, very good price, but it just wasn't for me. Like I said, nothing negative to say about the, all the quality and everything is there. So I kind of lagged on this one, even though like later it was on my list, you know, and should have done it sooner because it's an excellent tequila and you know some people in the comments have been wanting me to do a review on this one and have mentioned that you know this is one of the best well salute i agree this is definitely one of the best blancos so i'm just gonna go ahead and say it now so let's go ahead and start with the aromas i don't really need to air out because honestly even though it is high proof 55% um, or 110% proof. It didn't bother me at all. I think Chingo. you get very nice aromas in this. So I can put my nose on the glass. I don't get no burn. You know, I don't get no discomfort. Or any of that. You know, I think for me at least, I don't have a problem with this at all. Badass motherfucker. So what I pick up on this tequila is tons and tons of agave. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Picking up a little bit of pepper. Some lemon. I'm also picking up a little bit of anise, but it fades off immediately. So I'm gonna say like, when you smell it, you get a little bit of anise and then boom, from one second to another, it fades and it, you know, you get the other aromas, but it's there. I also get a little bit of spice, you know, something like, um, I would say something like a jalapeno and also a 
And I get like some cheese. So what I'm gonna say, what this kind of reminds me of is, you know, like a jalapeno popper. You know, I know there's different types, right? It's not the one with the cream cheese. It's not the one with the nacho cheese, the one with that other melting cheese. Kind of when I feel like the jalapeno's cooked and they have that melted cheese on there. I feel like I get a little bit of like a, a jalapeno popper. So I could say citrusy and there's also a little bit of uh, raw agave. And as far as the alcohol goes, yes, I mean, it is present. Um, I felt like when I first opened it, I had a lot of alcohol. It was pretty potent, you know, but it's like, have you guys ever opened up a bag of chips and particular like hot Cheetos or something and you just get that really strong, you know, scent and it's kind of like, eh. But then, you know, as it airs out, it's good, you know? And like I said, this one doesn't need to air out or anything. I mean, as I, bought the, as I brought the bottle down, I noticed that, at least my personal opinion, I think when a bottle's like, you know, three quarters or halfway down, you know, it, it tastes a lot better. A lot of times it tastes a lot better and, you know, sometimes you get different aromas than when you first crack open a bottle. And that's why I mentioned in other videos that, you know, I like to um, you know, try my tequila on multiple occasions, you know, on multiple occasions, try them a few different times and stuff and, you know, really experiment with them. Damn, he knows what he's talking about. But all right, enough about that. Let's get down to the taste. So it is the first sip of the day. So I'm not gonna you know, say too much about it. Gotta get used to them, especially being a high proof. Mm, but it was delicious though, I can say that. It's really good tequila. All right. So I'm definitely picking up the agave, the citrus, into that lemon. I do get a little bit of that anise, the raw agave. I do get a little bit of hints of pepper. Even perhaps a little bit of like minerality to it, some lemongrass. And as far as the burn goes, or I'm not even gonna say, yeah, I guess you could say there is a little bit of burn, but nothing that I would say causes discomfort. What I feel like <clears throat> it does is like, it sizzles on your tongue. You know, I think that's one of the best way. I don't know if you guys ever had those little, you know, popping candies and stuff, like the ones you, you know, as soon as they you know, hit your saliva, right? They're like popping in there and you feel like little sizzles, right? Like little bubbles on your tongue, I would say. It's like little bubbles, you know? Um, yeah, it went away. I didn't get none of that. Um, I didn't get none of that little burning or anything you know but it's 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 a, it's a nice burn and like i said it feels like a little bit of like sizzling on your on your tongue like if you had like little bubbles kind of dancing around there right a little bit spicy you know definitely pick up you know perhaps a little bit of that um jalapeno that i mentioned but it's a really good tequila you know whether you choose to mix it or sip it i think Sipping, this is a great sipping tequila. So for those who said that it's a really good tequila and one of the best, I mean, I, I agree. It's definitely one of the best. You know, nothing like the regular Blanco, I'll tell you that much. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. You know what? If you don't like 
something spicy. That's a bit of a burn to it. You know, this may not be for you. So I wouldn't recommend it to those who can't handle the heat. So stay out of the kitchen. The fuck out If you like something like spicy like this, you know it's strong, but it's packed with a lot of flavor. It's definitely for you. But, you know, it's your choice if you want to mix it or sip it. And if you guys have tried it, let me know if you guys agree with the flavors, ratings, whatever. You know, I'm all ears. I'm always open to uh, any feedback. So thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed the video. Salud. Have a good night.